Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to send emails in Django. So this is pretty straightforward, so this video will be short. So just in case you didn't know how to send emails, you should know after this video. I'll be using this temporary email service to see the email that I actually sent. So I already have a project and an app set up. I have this app called Send. And what I'll do is I'll set up the URLs for it. So I'll just create one endpoint. It's going to be just the index, let's see, include uh, send.urls, and then include there. Then I'll create a URLs file for my send app and change things up slightly. So views.index, which doesn't exist yet, from dot import views. And then I can get rid of this. Actually, I should have kept the other one. Let's see. From dot import views, can remove include. Okay, so just really basic stuff. I'll add the app here, and then I'll create a view index, and I'll just return a really basic template. So return render. I'll call this uh, send slash index, and I need to pass in the request. So obviously I'm not doing anything with the emails yet, just setting everything up so I can send an email. So templates, send, and then index.html here, sent, sent, and email. So I'll hard code everything here, but obviously in a real app, you'd probably take some user inputted data somewhere or data from the database to pass to the send email function when you go to send the message. So there are two parts of sending emails in Django. Uh, one part is the actual send mail function that I'll write inside of my views here. And the other part is the setup for it. So first I'll do the setup for it. So I'll go down here and I'll add some settings. And for the settings, you need a few things. You need your email host. So this is obviously different for each email provider, but the settings are basically the same. So in my case, my email host is something called Hushmail. So it's going to be smtp.hushmail.com. My port for email happens to be, should be port, 587. And then the username, so email underscore host user is the name of the value. I'm using my prettyprinted.com account. And then my password would be in a configuration like that. I'm obviously not gonna put my password here because I don't want you guys using my email, but this is the configuration. So I'll just comment that out. I actually have it defined elsewhere in this file at the bottom, but you would have to supply your email. And then finally, you have email use TLS and email use SSL. So with these, uh, you may wanna try different combinations if your email provider doesn't tell you explicitly what to use. In my case, I have to use false for SSL and true for TLS. But you may have to rotate through all the settings until you find which ones work for you. And you can find this information somewhere in the documentation for your email provider. So, for example, if you use Gmail, you should be able to find some documentation for Gmail. If you use something like Fastmail, same thing. So I can't tell you exactly where it's going to be because it just depends on what service you use. But the idea is the same. So you need the host, the port, the username, the password, and then TLS and SSL. And those require the most experimentation. So once you have that set up, all you need to do to send an email is just import from django.core.mail. You're going to import the send mail function. There are other ones, but this is the most basic one. And if you can figure out how to use this one, you can use the other. So send mail is going to take in a few things. The first argument is going to be the subject. So I'll say hello from pretty printed as the subject. So that's what I'll see. The second argument is going to be the actual body of the email. So in this case, I'm just going to use plain text. I'm not going to use HTML or anything, but really the process is very similar using HTML and or plain text. But just to keep this example pretty simple, I'm going to use 
uh, plain text. I'll link to the documentation for this function so you can see the other options for the function. So the second argument, like I said, is going to be the message. So I'll say, hello there. This is an automated message. The third argument is going to be where the message is coming from. So the from on the email, in this case, anthony at prettyprinted.com. And then we have the recipients. So the fourth argument is going to be a list of recipients. And in this particular case, I want to use this temporary email service. So I'll re just refresh and it looks like uh, kindu at shinnemo.com, which is their randomly generated email. So I'll put that in there. And then finally, uh, for fail, Silently, I'll specify that as false. Just in case this fails, it should throw an error message instead of just failing and not telling me that it failed. Uh, because when it comes to emails, you know, if something happens, perhaps you don't want to crash your entire app if the send mail function doesn't work. Instead, you can continue with the app and then handle the email error later. So it's just a user experience thing. So this is really it. So I have a send mail function. So basically all that's going to happen is when I go to this uh, view through the index URL, it's going to send the email to me and then it's going to render the template telling me that I sent it. So let's go ahead and try that out. I'll start my server. And everything looks to be okay. So as soon as I go here, it should run and because it's sending, it takes a little bit longer than a typical request, but it tells me I sent an email, so I didn't get any errors. So I'm going to assume that it sent the email and I see here in my temporary email box, I have hello from pretty printed. I have my email address as a sender. I can open it up and I see hello there. This is an automated message. So as you can see, it's really simple. The most important part is the configuration that you put in the settings.py. Once you have that down, sending emails in your Django apps will be very simple. So sending emails is something that you wanna do um, when you wanna tell the user something, obviously. So for example, after they register, if they want to reset their password, if they lost their password, uh, stuff like that, you can send emails. Uh, you can also send emails when um, they trigger something in your app. So for example, if you have an app like this where you can watch videos, perhaps you wanna send them an email after they complete a series of videos. It just depends on what your app is doing, but um, there's a lot of good use cases for sending emails in apps. So that's it. Um, I just released a free course on my website called Intro to Django. It's basically the first section out of my upcoming um, premium course, Understanding Django. So you can see that part here. So Intro to Django and Django Database Essentials are part of Understanding Django, but they're free sections if you don't wanna purchase the entire course. So Intro to Django here, it has, um, what is this, nine videos and uh, hopefully, they would be helpful to you. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about sending emails in Django, you can always leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.